let me tell you this. Uh, you never want to deal relationally with someone that hasn't fully healed from previous relationships. You never want to make deals with someone that has yet to heal. Why? Because you don't want to be somebody's Band-Aid. You don't want to be somebody's medicine to get them off of some other incident. Right. And so when you begin to talk relationships, you begin to see this. He's not fully healed yet. And so I wouldn't make deals with him until he's fully healed. And sometimes we get in relationships and we're we're drawn by people's diseases. We're drawn by people's illnesses. We're drawn. Some people just have a savior's complex. Some people are are trying to be too much to too many people. Right. And sometimes when you are drawn by people's issues and you make a relationship out of the issue bond, then you're going to eventually have more issues because that person is not not really trying to uh, build a bond with you. They're trying to have you be their healing bond. They want you to be their healing bond. They want you to heal them from the other relationship bond. And they don't even really necessarily want to be with you. And so if a person is not healed from a previous relationship, don't make deals in a new relationship with them because you're only going to set yourself up to be hurt and you're going to end up being a doctor that only Christ can be. Never try to be a doctor. Only be a nurse to what God wants you to be a nurse for. See, there are certain people, we've, I've been guilty of it, and people with big hearts, they'll stay in relationships longer than they need to. A lot of people stay in relationships longer than they need to because they want to, they have false hopes. They have false hopes. They think they can actually be the one to heal the man. They think they actually could be the one to heal the woman, and you end up being hurt while you heal them. And then when you've been used to heal them um, halfway or psychologically, mentally, or emotionally, they then move on. Then they heave you because they didn't even want to be with you. And then all of a sudden, now you start developing a hidden river of resentment inside of you because you put all this work in a work that you weren't even supposed to do. Only God can heal someone mentally, emotionally, and physically, and spiritually. Only God can get the deep healing. And if every time y'all talk about relationships, she comes up, that a fiance left, then he's too hurt. And if he's hurt, get out the dirt. Because only thing you want to do is get yourself hurt in the process. So now you got to begin to assess the bonds that you have built with this man and begin to really ask them, is this even worth it? It's crazy. We take jobs and don't be fully compensated for the job that we jumped in. I am. I don't have to worry about compensation in my marriage. Therefore, I don't have expectations. I don't have expectations. Therefore, I don't expect compensation because I know God is the one that compensates. When I'm in his vision, in his mission, he compensates. So I can sacrificially serve my wife because I know who truly compensates. I don't need her to compensate me. So I, I serve freely. I don't expect the return from this. I don't expect the return from that because I know this is who God has given me and God is great me for her. Therefore, he's going to give me the compensation. So if she needs to talk to two in the morning, he will compensate me with a rested and sweet and a sweet sleep because I'm his beloved. He will compensate, but God will not compensate for a decision that you made that's contradictory to what he wants to do in your life. So now you're going to be spending all of this energy on this man. This man is only came to you because he wants to be healed. And now you want to make deals and it's going to be hard to make deals when you keep hearing about her. So I navigate this. You might want to shut the thing down. You might want to stop, stop the relationship right now because he's not healed. And God will never cause you to come into someone's life to be their healing. Relationships was meant for dealing, not healing. Relationships were meant to make deals, not to make heals. I'm telling you right now, if you jump into a relationship and y'all are healing each other, y'all are out of timing, out of season, or out of connection with God. Relationships, relationships was meant to make deals. Soon as I got married, the goal in life was not trying to heal her. We were trying to make deals with her. You see what I'm saying? You don't have time to make healings when you are in relationships. You got to be focused on making deals. And if y'all can't make deals and y'all focus on trying to make heels, then y'all not going to find your heels in the fields of harvest. So my friend, count the costs and consider the loss and leave, in my personal opinion, or begin to distance yourself and, and really have a conversation like, listen, I think we shouldn't do this right now because I think you still need to heal from her.